Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm coming with today's word. God is speaking. Today, I want to look at a verse of scripture. I'm going to reference it um, in 1 John 4 and 4. And I want to go there because, you know, growing up, you know, I'm reminded of uh, how, you know, some of the kids, they would tell other kids, you know, my uh, house is bigger than yours. Our, um, our car is better than yours or, you know, or, you know, something that they were in competition with. And, well, unfortunately, oftentimes people do that now as adults, but it took me back to childhood. But there are some still yet, even some, the reason they go to the church they go to is because they feel like it's bigger or it's better um, as far as being more well known or a mega or whatever. People are always looking for bigger and greater and, you know, and, and something that's, that's bigger and better than someone else's there in competition. That's oftentimes why people purchase some of the items they purchase or do some of the things they do because they're trying to keep up with others and do better and outdo. And what's amazing is that people do that in the natural of things that will perish, that can, that can be taken away, that can be lost. Um, but when it comes to something that can't be lost, something that is greater, something that is truly better, stronger, uh, more excellent, um, higher up, um, more powerful, uh, that no one can take from us, that no one can um, remove from us or, or keep us from benefiting from it is in this verse of scripture in 1 John 4 and 4 when it talks about that we are God's children. We are of God and we've overcome them who the agents of Satan. We've overcome, you know, the, the demonic uh, powers. We've overcome it because greater is he that is in us than he, Satan, that is in the world. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. You know, we walk around oftentimes defeated. We walk around as though, um, you know, we have no power, no authority that we can't help it when we sin. We, you know, things are evil around us and there's nothing we can do about it. But the Bible clearly says that we've overcome them. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. You have the power of the Holy Spirit in you if you are a believer. And that's the same power that raised Christ from the dead on the inside of us. That took us spiritually dead people and quickened us on the inside and make us spiritually uh, awakened and spiritually regenerated, spiritually new, uh, spiritually empowered, spiritually enabled. And so we have been given power over the devil, Jesus tells us in Luke. And he also uh, tells us that these signs will follow them that believe that we would cast out demons in his name. And so we have power over darkness. We are the light of the world. We're supposed to let our light so shine that men may see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. So we're supposed to let this light shine. But when we don't, as though we're acting as though we don't have the greater one in us. When people fall back and they decide they're going to go back to their old ways and their old habits and old relationships and things they've been delivered from, they're acting like they don't have the greater one on the inside of them. Why is it that we would want to show off things we think are greater, better, bigger, more powerful in the world that someone can remove from us, even someone that has a position they think is of great power? You know, some people strive for things like that, but that position can be taken from them. But this greater one, the spirit of God, the power of God, the word of God on the inside of us, no one can take that from us. We have this power we can operate in. We are overcomers and more than conquerors to them that loved us. Stop walking around defeated. Stop acting like you can't do anything about your circumstances, that you can't help it. You know, when you're tempted that you just have to fall into it, that you can't pray over your family and over your children. I'm um, believing for life when it looks like everything else is against them. Don't stop looking at the evil around you and acting as though you don't have an impact when you have the greater one on the inside, when you can speak this word of power that you can speak in Jesus name that you can stand on this word and be a light and dispel darkness stop acting like you don't have the greater one on the inside if each of us would walk as bold in the spirit as we do in the flesh oh my gosh 
what a power pack the body of Christ would operate in. Because if it's one of us is a light, if we all came together, what great light would it be? If we've been given power, if we all came together as one in boldness and zeal, Oh, what great power we would we would display. If we were to go forth, each of us casting out demons in Jesus' name, speaking the word only, and doing what God purposed us to do. Oh, what a multitude of, of, of souls would come to Christ. We have the greater one. And Jesus said greater works we would do than him. Where is the greatness? He talked about those with great faith. It's as though he honored that. He, he, he was pleased with that but not those of little faith. Let's start operating and acting and walking like we have the greater one on the inside because we do. And stop looking at the things of this world that will perish, that can be taken, that can rust, that can, can, can be uh, corroded. And let's look at that which is everlasting, that power, that 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 uh, that greatness that causes us to walk in great faith, faith that it's not us, but it's he, it's the greater one. It is he that is on the inside of us. Who's going to take the Holy Spirit away? Who's going to who's going to remove the power of God from us? Who's going to remove the word from us? The enemy can't do that. We have to stand on what has been given to us and we have to walk in it. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You've already overcome them. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, live like it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Help us, Lord God, to see that we have the greater one on the inside. Help us to operate after the spirit to function in the things of the spirit to use our spiritual weapons and wear our spiritual armor and walk in the power and authority that's been delegated us help us to stand against the wiles of the devil and not to be overtaken by his trickery and craftiness but help us to realize that we've been given power that we have been given authority that we have been given dominion and help us to walk in it to surrender to you yield to you to trust you lord god that we would truly be witnesses because others would see that we've overcome. We've overcome our past and overcome the bondage and overcome the darkness. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to walk as overcomers. And so, Father, we thank you for your continued great work in us. We thank you. You're mighty. You're sovereign. You reign. We love and honor and praise you, God. We thank you for who you are, for all that you've done and all that you're doing and all that you're about to do. In the mighty, matchless, powerful name of Jesus, we pray and we say, hallelujah and amen. God bless you. I love you to life. Um, don't forget, share this message with 5, 10, 15 people that you think may benefit from it. Also, share the gospel with someone today who's unsafe. Share a message of hope with somebody who's hurting. Be a vessel and an instrument God works through for the uplifting of his kingdom. And so uh, don't rip to forget, if you want notifications when I upload videos, you can hit the subscribe button and the bell below. And if you've already done that, God bless you and thank you. Um, I also want to remind you, we have a wild movement, Watchmen on the Wall. We're intercessors and we pray each day, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're on Facebook Live, Tony Brooke Brown. We're on Instagram Live, Pastor Tony Brown. And also there's a phone number underneath this YouTube to video you can feel free to call in if you don't use social media but if you want to join in with us we believe god for signs wonders and miracles we pray for one another we pray for this nation for the leadership for the addicted the abused the broken we pray for the widows for the elderly for our children we pray and we believe god that he's working and moving in our situations and in our circumstances so have a blessed day in the lord join us if you're able and god bless you i'll see you next time